What's going on guys? Today we have another homemade body armor from a viewer video. This one was sent by a YouTuber called the Old Fat Dad Goober. I've actually watched his videos for quite a while and he's not old or fat. Maybe he is a dad goober. Either way, very good videos, cool channel. Definitely go check him out and I appreciate him sending this for us to test. He reached out after the first homemade body armor video that we did and said he had a good homemade plate that he wanted us to try. And he believes this will stop rifles. Not sure which rifles, but the 5.56 was one he was pretty confident it would stop. So I guess we'll see. Before I even test it, one thing I can already say this has going for it is thickness. Look at how thin that is. For homemade, potentially rifle rated body armor, it's very thin. As guys, there are some things in life we prefer to be thick. Body armor is not one of them. Now he actually sent two plates. I have no idea what's in either one of them. This is the regular one. And then this one, as you can see, says secret sauce right on the front. So we'll probably start with this one and then we'll end with the secret sauce and see what it can stop. And just to show y'all really quick, I have my beautiful Premier plate carrier here. Shout out to Premier Body Armor. And as you can see, it fits no problem. So that's a good start for homemade body armor. Let's test it. Not in the plate carrier though, because it's my favorite one and I don't want to ruin it. And we have our first plate set up with a cinder block backstop, so nothing special. By the way, I have no idea what is in these plates. And last time, some of y'all were pretty upset that I didn't cut it open and show you what was in it. That was kind of my way of directing traffic over to his channel. But I do understand, so maybe this time, if there's anything left when we're done, I will cut it open and show you how it was made. Let's shoot it. Now this is mainly a rifle test, so we're not gonna shoot too many pistols, but I do wanna start with a couple just to be sure. First up, we have the nine millimeter, and this is the Calico M950. I just did a full video on this. If you haven't seen it, definitely go watch it. This is one of the weirdest nine millimeter pistols I've ever seen. It's pretty cool though. Let's shoot the body armor. Went a little low, but I think we hit it. Nine millimeter went in right there, and there's some gray dust that fell out onto the table. Not really sure what that is. If we flip it over, you can see there is no exit hole, and it did not even deform the back of the plate. That's what I like to see. Let's step it up. Next up, we have the 10 millimeter out of the Glock 20. Pretty big step up from the nine millimeter, and definitely much harder for body armor to stop. I'm staying pretty far away from this one because I don't know what's in it and I don't want ricochets, so. The 10 millimeter went in right there and if you look in that entrance hole, you can actually see the bullet, so. I assume it did stop it. If we flip it over, it did. But that one actually did cause a little back face deformation. All right, guys, we have one more handgun to try. I don't wanna do too much damage to the body armor before we even get to the rifles, but we have to try the 5.7 by 28 green tip. And we're shooting it out of the Ruger 57. As far as handguns go, this is one of the toughest calibers for body armor to stop, and it will consistently defeat level 3A armor. So let's see if this stops it. So loud. 5.7 went in right there towards the top. If we flip it over, light work. It actually did not even put a bulge on the back of this plate. Kind of surprising that the 10 millimeter did and the 5.7 did not. Let's get out the rifles, boys. All right, guys, this video is about to get good, but first I have to thank today's sponsor because without them, we obviously could not afford to make these videos. And today I wanna to thank Shields, who supports the channel in a very big way. So if you're into the same things I am, which I assume a lot of you are because you watch these videos and you have not been to Shields, you're really missing out. They have over 30 locations at this point, and it's basically a one-stop shop for everything, sports, outdoors, shooting, exercise, you name it they probably have it. 
With all the premium brands like Leupold, Vortex, Sitka, and Mystery Ranch, you can be confident in every purchase knowing that you are getting the highest quality gear. And with the Shields guarantee, everything you buy on sale or otherwise is guaranteed satisfactory or your money back. And if you happen to find the same product elsewhere for a lower price, Shields will match that price online or in store. They also require all of their sales associates to be expertly trained in that field to give you the best in-store experience and help you find exactly what you're looking for, which is refreshing because as we all know, a lot of places are not like that. So go check them out and tell them we sent you. There will be a link in the description box below. I promise you will not regret it. And again, I want to thank Shields for supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. Well, I never really know what caliber to start with when we get out the rifles because the 762 is bigger than the 223, but it's also going slower. And they say speed is what defeats body armor. But in my experience, that is not always the case. So we're going to go ahead and start with the 223 since it is the smaller of the two. And we're shooting it out of the Daniel Defense Mark 18 AR pistol. Hashtag no brace. Shout out to the ATF. I follow the law. I don't know if that one stopped. The body armor literally didn't move. So let's go check it out. Okay, the 223 went right there below that black piece of duct tape. And again, it did not even move the body armor. So let's check the back. <laughs> it stopped it. That is pretty dang cool. You can see that there's a bulge on the back of that body armor, but it definitely stopped the 223. And just so you know, the 223 is going anywhere from 2,700 to 3,000 feet per second, and it is not an easy round to stop. So for any homemade body armor to stop that caliber is very impressive, especially when it's that freaking thin. Well, this might be the first homemade body armor I've ever tested that could stop a 223. So I'm already impressed, but next up, we have to try the 762 by 39. Again, it is a slower bullet than the 223, but it's also bigger and hits with quite a bit more energy. So let's see if it stops this one. I put that a little closer to the 223 than I wanted to. We might have to retest it. Okay, well, there's definitely a giant bulge on the back, but I did not look for an exit hole yet because I want to find out together. But you can see where that 762 hit probably an inch from the 223. So that part of the body armor was already heavily compromised. Let's flip it over and take a look. Holy sh it actually stopped the 762, even with it being that close to the 223. I thought for sure there was gonna be an exit hole there. Well, that is very impressive. There's manufactured body armor that wouldn't even stop two rifle rounds that close together. And this is homemade body armor and it was able to do it. Wow. All right, next up we have the AK-74. I think this will probably be the first one to defeat it. Theoretically, since it stopped the 223, it should stop the 545 because they are very similar. But we are shooting the 7N6, also known as the poison bullet. And this does have a steel core, so much harder to stop than a regular 545. I am a little bit nervous for this one, so I stepped back a little bit and we're gonna shoot it at an angle. There's no way it stopped that. The 545 hit right there. Again, pretty close to the other rifles. If we flip it over, yep, we finally have an exit hole. So again, a regular 545 by 39, it would probably stop because that's ballistically very similar to a 223 or a 556. But when you introduce a steel core bullet, it changes things dramatically. And as you saw, it was too much for the homemade body armor. Although it didn't stop the poison bullet, it did stop the 223 and the 762 by 39. So I wanna go ahead and try the 308 and see if it stops this. I have a pretty good idea of what's gonna happen, but we'll try it anyway. 
straight through. The 308 hit right there. It did go very close to the nine millimeter. I seem to have a bad habit of doing that in these videos. If we flip it over, <laughs> yeah, it definitely went through and that is a giant exit hole. We'll go ahead and try the 308 one more time just to be sure. And this time I'm gonna try not to put it so close to another bullet hole. <laughs> I think that one also destroyed the cinder block. Okay, that one hit about an inch from the side. As you can see, it just blew straight through once again, but it also kind of opened the body armor up so we can see what's inside of here. I also just texted him and he told me what was in it because I didn't think I'd be able to open it up, but the 308 did it for us. Let's take a look. So it's obviously wrapped in duct tape and the back layer is a piece of 14 gauge steel. That is what the 308 just completely deformed. And underneath that, he has two porcelain floor tiles with what looks like a piece of wood in between them. And that's it. So two porcelain floor tiles and a piece of 14 gauge steel will stop a 223 and a 762 by 39. Very simple, but very effective. All right, now we are gonna go ahead and test the plate with the secret sauce. He said he's never tested this one before, so it could be a complete failure. He also would not tell me what the secret ingredient was, so let's shoot it. For this one, we'll just go ahead and start with the 223. I've always wanted to shoot an AR pistol like this. Two two three entrance hole is right there towards the bottom, and this one is putting off kind of a weird smell. So I think the secret ingredient is a liquid of some sort. If we flip it over, it did stop it. Hopefully you guys can see that. It broke the duct tape on the back, but that bullet did not go through. And I can already see under that first layer, there is some sort of paste underneath that duct tape. So let's keep shooting it. 762 by 39. Secret sauce, test number two. Seven, six, two by 39 entrance hole. And it looks like it stopped it. I will say the back face deformation on this one is much worse than the first plate. And I could be wrong, but that almost looks like a layer of Kevlar. Every time we shoot it, we're just peeling back layers and revealing more of what's inside. I still don't know what that white paste is though. And the 308. Judging off the 762 by 39, I'd say this will definitely go through, but let's see. Wait a second, did you guys see that? Look at the grass on the left side of your screen when I fire this round. It almost looks like the shock wave from the rifle traveling towards the target. Look at the size difference in that entrance hole from the 308. That is ridiculous. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, well, that is erect in the back. I'll just say that. The Kevlar right here feels extremely hot, almost like it might have stopped some of that 308, but over here, there is an exit hole. So at least part of it did go all the way through. And even if it didn't, that is so much back face deformation, I don't think it would work on the human body. <laughs> 
I will say stopping the bullet at least gives you a fighting chance, even if it does break bones like this most certainly would. But I do believe some of that 308 went through because there does appear to be an exit hole. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go check out the old fat dad goober and well done on the homemade body armor, man. It appears to be rated for a 223 and a 762 by 39. And again, for homemade armor, this is some of the best I've ever tested. Very impressive. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.